I was I was sure he was gonna put his hands up, but since I've never scored a punt return touchdown, I was like, watch him call me out at the one and say I got pushed out. But I knew if I made it to the five, that I'd be able to die from there. I think the biggest thing uh, that I've been very impressed with is just his consistency, whether it's uh, at practice or uh, during a game. White, who stands in the shotgun, play action, throwing a bubble screen high, and complete pick up. Go. He's gonna Come take on. it to the house. Come Kristen on, Searles, all the He's way there. to the touchdown. Ah. Diggity down, baby! Right into the hands of Christian Searles, right place, right time. The 5'9", 180 pound cornerback out of Chicago. That's going to be his fifth interception of the season. My goal was to definitely go D1. Um, had some other options, a lot of things fell through. Um, it was getting to that point in the recruiting process where um, you know, I was getting kind of nervous. It was close to signing day I wanted to sign. And luckily, uh, me and my uh, parents were able to reach back out to Dayton. Uh, I think he called him on the Thursday. We went on a visit Friday, and I committed that Sunday, I believe. I think he's just a, a very, very intelligent football player. Uh, he, he understands the game. Obviously, he's, he's, he's played for the last three years. He started the last three years, so he's uh, seen a lot of things. And when you're talking to him uh, about certain things or certain situations, he picks it up very quickly, and he understands what you're trying to get done uh, schematically or what a team's trying to do to you um, schematically. Uh, I would say you know, that's probably one thing people don't get to see. I mean, obviously they can see you know, his athleticism, return punts, and, and, and playing the ball in the air, but just his overall knowledge of the game, I'd probably say something you don't see. Christian Searle standing at his own 34-yard line to field this punt. The first thing is always to Tell me to possess the ball, so my thing was, alright, make the catch. Um, so I seen him, I was like, you know, I had a lot of space, and I started going. And he's going to have room to return it. Sir, got room, has a gap, sir. I got a couple blocks, I made one cut back, and I couldn't tell if I should make another, but it just kind of, I don't really think out there, I just do things. He's at the 30, 25, 20, 15, Come 10, on. 5, oh, he's and he stretched for the cone, stretch for the he's cone, in. touchdown, yeah. Dig it touchdown. Down. Woo. The determination to get to that pylon, he doesn't want to be out of bounds at the two, he wants six. So once I caught it, um, they always teach me, they always tell me, get going forward. So once I got going forward, nobody was there to kind of cut me off and make me change direction. But I just put my head down, tried to run as fast as I could, and I knew if I made it to the five, that I'd be able to die from there. And luckily, I was able to do that.